So this canal was built by Christian V between 1670 and 1675. And this is really one of the most beautiful places in Copenhagen that we love to take friends, but we love to do things that are more around Copenhagen when it's just us. You should come here, of course, when you're in Copenhagen. It's a good central spot. You can take pictures. You'll see tons of people taking pictures. But what we're going to show you is a bunch of things just a couple blocks away so that you can really make even more out of your trip to, to the new mountain area. about the word Newhound because as an English speaker we might think we know how to pronounce the word Newhound when we see it going around Copenhagen but we actually don't because in Danish Y's are actually pronounced more like U's which makes Danish really difficult to learn. Um, excuse me ma'am, um, I'm looking for Nighthaven. A lot of Danish words are much like a casserole the day after Thanksgiving. It's just a combination of a whole bunch of words together. They're a lot less intimidating when you look at them that way. Nuhaun is an example of that. It's two words, nu and harbor. You'll see the word haun in a number of different areas, especially if you're on the train, like you'll see North Harbor and South Harbor, but also Copenhagen, as it's spelled in Danish but translated in English, is actually the Merchant Harbor. All right, so we're just walking a few blocks from Newhound so that we can go and visit the church, the palace where the royal family lives, often, not all the time, of course, and the harbor <clears throat> where you can see the royal palace. All of this is just a few, few blocks away from the main tourist area in Newhound. We are at Frederick's Kirke, or better known as the Marble Church. It was first built in 1749, um, but construction started to slow down around 1770 because budgets started to cut and the architect actually died. So most of the building is actually built out of limestone because of the budget cuts. But they finally finished the building in 1894, so over a hundred years later. And here it stands still today. We're standing in the center of Emilienborg Palace, which is the main royal residence for the Danish monarchy. The four buildings that make up this palace actually originally were built by Danish nobility. When Christianborg Palace burned down in 1794, the Danish monarchy bought these four buildings and made it their main residence. And the, today, the queen and the crown prince, and actually her second son, all live here. And you know that they're here when the Danish flag is on top of the roof. Right, the last stop in this line of church, palace, and this is the harbor. Right here we can see the Royal Arpa House. It's perfectly in line with all the things we just visited. And you get to walk out and see the harbor where there's always tons of boats, activity, ferries, things going on on a very nice day. We saw some boats a minute ago, you just missed it. But it's a really nice place to sit and relax. Nice garden here. And it's only a couple blocks from New Hong. Right now we are on our way to Union Kitchen 
um, which is an amazing restaurant in Copenhagen. And because it's my birthday weekend, we decided to go there and have some chicken and waffles, which I think this is probably the only restaurant in Copenhagen that serves chicken and waffles this good. I know exactly what I want to get, but every time it's better than the last time. It's just so good. I wanted to interrupt for a quick minute to say that links for all the places that we're visiting this week will be provided down in the description along with a Google map of everywhere that we visited. If you could please leave some comments and let us know places that you like us to go in Denmark and Europe. We're still planning out the next couple months and we'd love to hear your advice to see the things you'd like to learn more about. And also please subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram. Now back to the video. So where this is located is really central. The uh, pedestrian walkway is just a few steps away. And also all four lines of the, the Copenhagen Metro meet here, including the city ring line, which was actually open just last year. And it was the largest construction project in Copenhagen in the last 400 years. And it makes a complete circle around Copenhagen. just at the end of Newhound is this pedestrian bridge that was built in 2016. Before then, there was no way on this side of the harbor to get across to the other side. On the other side, this direction, the bridge was way away. So the only way you could get to the other side, really from here, was with a ferry. But when they open this, you can see bikes and people can now go across this easily and take it to the other side where there's a really cool street market and that's where we're gonna go right now. Okay, so we are wrapping up the day here at the Copenhagen Street Food Market with some drinks. Hey, cheers yep. to all. Cheers. And one of Maya's favorite things about living in Denmark is that she's actually allowed to drink here. So that's, as a parent, been a little interesting to get used to the idea of that. But it's been kind of fun. We've had our girly fruity drinks and enjoy the day. So, being the day after your birthday, now that you're 17, did you have a good birthday? I sure did. Is this a good way to wrap it up? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Alright friends, well thanks. We'll see you next time somewhere here in Denmark. Bye! Our palace. Me.